Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with another epic video. I mean, I know it's called Legion Imperialis, but I really can't get the term epic out of my head. So I do apologize if for many of these videos, I continue to refer to it as epic. I think I know what we all mean, or I think I know you, I think you guys know what I mean, is what I'm trying to say. So obviously Games Workshop has sent me out a plethora of awesome kits to work with. I've already released my first video, which was painting one of the entire Space Marine sets in a single sitting, 106 Space Marines and four Contemptors uh, done in a single sitting. You guys really like that video. It's doing very, very well and you guys are hungry for more. Something I showed off in that video was the pair of Sakarans that I did as testers and ones that I did to send to the Warhammer community article, which did actually get posted, so I'm super proud of that. And one of the things that I thought was really cool is my Kim to Karen's were posted on the Warhammer community article along with a million other awesome creators. The difference between me and all those other awesome creators is the effort that I put in. I used only three paints and I literally mean three different pots of paint to paint my entire tank. And that's what I'm going to show you in today's video, how to paint up some really cool epic slash Legionis Imperialis tanks very quickly, very easily, and to a standard which Warhammer community seems to think is shareable on their social media. So maybe it's pretty good. So without further ado, let's get into uh, painting tiny little adorable Sakarans. Man, I love Sakarans. And this is the sprue from the beautiful new Sakarans. You do get two Sakarans per sprue, and they very kindly give you both turret options. So you can either have the auto cannons or the plasma cannons. I know there are technically four different versions of Sakaran, or is there five? Maybe there's five. Um, so this gives you the first two. I'm sure later on down the road, they will give you the other variants of Sakaran. But one of the things I do enjoy is the fact that it doesn't share a turret, even though it is a simple ball turret, which has a cannon on either side of it, they could have very easily used the same cam main body of the turret. And then you decide which cannons they glue on. They've given you both. So if you want to have the cannons um, interchangeable, you literally have both turrets for each tank. So you can swap in and out, which I think is a really nice little touch. They're very detailed kits. Like I said, if you have been following on from my infantry video uh, previously, I think where um, where an army for Legionis Astartes, sorry, Legionis Imperialis, I don't know why I keep saying Astartes, Legionis Imperialis is going to look nice is in the tanks and the armor um, parts of the, the force. I don't think the infantry is ever going to stand out as something that's kind of impressive or it's beautiful or, you know, do you know what I mean? It's not going to be something people look up pick up off the table and go oh my god the paint job on that tiny space marine is amazing no it's just a color and a bolt gun and some shoulder trim that's about it you can put a little bit of extra effort into all the tanks and vehicles and when you look down they're going to kind of stand out and have a lot more and they're going to look really really nice if you had last month's white dwarf and seen what um an example of what an epic uh, game looks like you can see that each side has maybe 30 pieces of armor so obviously these are very key parts of a force and one of the bits that I think is going to be uh, super important as well is to not lavish too much attention on them. Although we want them to look nice, we want them to be kind of the key features of the army. Like I just said, there might be 20, 30 pieces of armor in a force. Therefore, you're going to want to have them kind of easily achievable, easily accessible. With that in mind, this is the first video I'm going to do on epic vehicles. It will not be the last. My plan is to show you guys the kind of concept with how I'm going to tackle uh, Legion's Imperialis tanks in this video. So I'm going to be painting up this, these two Sakarans in Imperial Fist colors, like the ones that I had showcased on the community website, um, using only three paints. Literally three pots of paints are all I'm going to use to make these things be very much table ready. They're going to look pretty good. Look at this detail. It's absolutely incredible. But my plans for the future are to do a video nine tanks at a time. I'm going to do nine loyalists and nine uh, heretic vehicles. So two videos, nine in each one. I think that's going to be really cool. So obviously I've got these guys attached to these little stands, which I'm going to use to spray and paint them from. If you just shown, I showed you off the sprue. They're literally little things that Games Workshop sells for holding parts and doing bit assemblies. I don't know whether they still sell them. I bought a whole heap of them before I left. And I'm not 100% sure if they're still available. If they are still available, they're really cool. I'll also be using the Color Forge Matte White Spray to spray my tanks. Color Forge very kindly sent me this out to try it out. Um, and I've been trying it on my Epic stuff. And so far, it's a pretty good spray. It's uh, very thin. It's nice and bright and matte. Uh, it's exactly what it says in the tin. 
To give you guys an example of what we're aiming for here, here is one of the tanks that I painted up and was featured on the Warhammer community article, the Sakaran with the Accelerator Auto Cannons. As you can see, I think it looks fantastic. It definitely sits on a tabletop really nicely. And like I said at the beginning, three paints is all I used. Contrast Imperial Fist, Contrast Black Templar and Lead Belcher. Don't believe me? Stick around and find out. So it starts with the tank being just sprayed pure white. As good a coat as you can possibly get. We're going to apply this to all the armor panels of the tank that you want to be yellow. Obviously, a lot of Imperial Fist players like breaking up different panels with yellow and black. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And that's the purpose of the Black Templar. But it's also got a couple of other uses that we will get to. I basically looked up images on you know, Google Images, Imperial Fist uh, Sakaran picked out the ones that I liked and basically tried to copy that on a miniature scale. So the kind of outer plating of the tank gets painted yellow and the inner plating I'm going to leave nice and uh, blank so we can do that with the black which will help to break up the tank just being a solid coat of yellow. I know a lot of Legion tanks are going to have that problem where they're just going to be this kind of solid block of a color and we're going to have to do something to make them stand out more. So I will show you in upcoming videos how I'm going to tackle that, whether it's with a bit of weathering powder, whether it's a bit of battle damage or, or anything like that. We cannot just leave them as these flat, boring colors in the battlefield. It will, it will look awful. <laughs> as you can see, the Imperial Fist yellow contrast goes on like a dream and it gives me a beautiful result for yellow armor. Like these are just the two Zakarans, which is a simple coat of yellow one and it looks fantastic. Also coming across and doing the turrets. Obviously, I've done two of the auto cannon turrets already so for this one i'm going to do double plasma just to kind of break it up and just so i have a pair of each absolutely no idea what the difference is in the battlefield i'm sure they have different weapon profiles at least i hope they do i don't want to be able to use them in the battlefield so yeah plasma plus i want them to look a little bit different to the first pair that i did even though they might be in the same squadron also not 100 sure how that worked yeah i should really read the rule book that they gave me shouldn't i as you can see, continuing on with the nice yellow across the turret until I get to the Black Templar contrast. So we are going to attack the tank with this now, but we are going to be pretty precise and pretty careful as we're going to try and avoid hitting the yellow with this black paint as I go. I was not a very good cameraman whilst I was painting the black. Yeah, basically I just keep pulling it out of frame because I was concentrating and trying to get a neat coat of black. But basically the rest of the tank got painted black. All of the treads, all of the front panels, all of the weapon mounts, everything. The only thing that I did not hit with the black here was the plasma coils on the turret. But if you jump across back to the auto cannon ones, if you're doing the same, the full auto cannon gets painted black as well. Absolutely every single piece. There is a touch of water added to the black template. I'd say it's like three parts black, a template contrast, like one part water. And um, just so it flows a little bit better. But you are looking for a fairly consistent solid coat across the whole of the tanks. And these are the bits we want to do black. No point in painting the inside of the turret. That's obviously going to be closed up when the turret gets put on. Of course, we're going to do the same thing across the turret as well. And like I said, we're going to do everything except the plasma coils. So once again, take your time. Be careful. If you overshoot just a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Don't be worrying. Like I said, these are tiny tanks and you will have many, many, many hold vehicles in your armies. So there's a tiny bit of paint out of touch here or there across the force. It's not going to make too much of a difference. And obviously we can count it as battle damage or weathering. But I'm going to make sure I try and delete as much of the white as possible. If you do leave the white behind, it will scream out from between the colors as a bit that's unpainted. And it will kind of ruin the aesthetic of the tank. So if you accidentally hit a bit of the yellow, not the worst thing in the world. If you leave something white, that's not going to be great. So please take your time. Make sure you get that. Okay, after that was applied, I just grabbed some of the tiny transfers you do get in the box. You get some, you get about six of the legions worth of transfers. Why you only get six, I don't know. How you get access to transfers to the other legions, I don't know. Something they haven't really addressed just yet. Um, but yeah, I simply, I got lucky and the Imperial Fists uh, are on the, the first transfer sheet they give you with kind of all the vehicles. So I used that and I applied that on the hull of the tank inside that nice uh, separate panel piece there. It's a really nice place to put a transfer. And as you can see, it fits beautifully. Applying it with my normal method of applying transfers. If you want to do it, I've got videos up on how to use transfers properly. So if it's something you want to learn or you're worried about, just yeah, check that video out. 
Okay, so once the transfers are in place and everything is dry, it's time for the last paint that I shall be using for this video, and that is Lead Belcher. And this is where we're going to get interesting because we're going to dry brush everything lightly with Lead Belcher. This will add chipping and weathering and scuffs to everything. You're a little bit heavier over some of the weapons and over the tracks to kind of make them look a little bit more metallic. But as you can see, it does change the look of the tank quite drastically. And like I said, this is the Horus Harris. It's not the Great Crusade. Everything is not pristine and beautiful. And they don't have time to maintain things to perfection. This is a literal, I don't know how many years of hell that they fought through. It was like nine years that the Horus Heresy went down for. And every legion, every piece of equipment, everything was called to arms and was literally wrecked. So you want the chipping, you want the weather, you want the scratches. We're not going to try and wreck it too bad. But the dry brush of the silver really does help. And any of those bits that were wanted to look metallic, like the vents on the back, and like I said, the guns and the cannons, with this silver dry brush, it's going to look fantastic. I am going to show you now what it looks like next to an undry brush tank, so you will see the comparison. But as you can see, it looks absolutely fantastic here. At least I think it does. If anyone like disagrees with me and thinks that this isn't a particularly good job, I would like to know in the comments yeah, what you thought, what you liked, and what you didn't like. But there's the left is the undry brush one the right is dry brush you can see it does make quite a drastic bit of difference it's almost like i used a different color yellow but i did not so i'm going to continue on here's the cannons left one is not dry brush the right one is dry brush all those coils got an extra bit of a sharpness to them if you will such a simple and easy and achievable technique that anybody can use with pretty much any legion you could do all of this for any legion and just swap out the yellow for whatever color your legion is and it's going to look fantastic so now just for the plasma color, this is where I'm cheating just a little bit. Like I said, I used three colors. This is technically the fourth, but like I said, the auto cannon ones didn't have this blue bit. And you guys might not be using uh, the plasma turrets yourself. So I do apologize if it seems slightly deceitful that I'm using a fourth color. Heaven forbid we use four colors to paint a tank. But it's just for the plasma coils, I promise. So yeah, just applying Talazar blue across those, those coils. That's why we were so careful not to hit them with the black, because we wanted that nice, bright, white undertone. Um so that the Talazar blue on top of it will look fantastic. It does give it this perfect, immediate plasma glow, like we've put in loads of work when we have not. And this is literally the last step that I will do with these Sakarans. I'll now break them off their, their little ham supports, and I'll put the turrets onto the tanks themselves and give you a look at what a finished Sakaran squadron will look like. So I'm going to show you a bunch of all of them. So here is the finished plasma Sakaran. And remember, this thing is absolutely tiny. So for the size it is, I think we got really, really great results. Here is the Sakaran, just so I you know, prove to you that it's exactly the same painting method I got these done. Three colors used, four colors on the plasma one. And I've got four of my adorable little Sakarans all painted up. I'm going to show you some images now. So here's some simple still high definition images of the Sakaran plasmas. I'm also going to show you them as a squadron with the auto cannon variants as well. I think they look so good. Like on a tabletop with a whole bunch of other vehicles, these are going to look fantastic. Close up of the other one. And then just some images of the auto cannon ones that I sent to Armour community that didn't get posted. Just so you can see exactly what they look like. Here he is for a size comparison. So you can actually see how tiny it is. Love to know what you guys think. Please put down in the comments below how you think I did on this particular project. And there we have it, guys. Two more tanks painted for my Imperial Fist army for uh, Legionis Imperialis. So very excited about how that turned out. I know I lied just a little bit with the three paints. It was four because these guys have big plasma cannons. So I needed to add in a blue color. But as you saw, the other Sakarin was painted with three colors. I hope you don't mind that I lied just a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing so many more epic videos. You guys seem to be thirsty for them. You're very excited for the release of it. I will be doing a whole heap of videos here on the main channel. And then I will also be doing a bunch of videos exclusively for my patrons. They get an extra video for themselves every single week. They get 52 extra videos a year from me. So if that's something that interests you, please check it out in the links below. And you also get access to a private Discord server where you can talk to me about your cool hobby every single day. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ask me any questions you want in the comments below. And if there's nothing else, guys, I'll see you in the next video.